Wow. So good to be in your presence today, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. None can be compared to you, oh God. Thank you for your peace over Nigeria. Thank you for your peace over our nation. We give you all the glory, Jesus. Thank you for sustenance and good health. Thank you for sustenance and good health. Thank you, God. We love you, Lord. You are Yeshua Amashiach, the bright and morning sun. None like you, Jesus. Why don't you just worship him this morning before we go ahead? Let's take some time. Don't mind your neighbor. Don't mind your neighbor. It's you and God. It's you and God. You cannot be grateful on the same level. You cannot be grateful to God on the same level. Ha ha ha!
situation, you remain God. You remain God. You remain God. You remain God. Okay, can we go up another level right now? Should we go up another level? Should we go up another level? Baba ti soro mi da yo. You know it. E wa ba mi yo. E mi ni o. E mi ni o. Momore, momore. Thank you, daddy mi o. Baba ti soro mi da yo. Baba ti soro mi da yo. You can turn to your neighbor. Don't worry, when they are ready, they'll join us. Thank you. Come on, jam those hands together for Jesus. <laughs>
in the house, isn't it? If you are excited as I am, shout hallelujah. Before we pray, I want us to look at this scripture. I am sure God is speaking to someone from this scripture. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Message Bible. Can we read together? I want to go. Then I looked, and oh, a door opened into heaven. The trumpet voice, the first voice in my vision, called out and said, Ascend and enter. I will show you what happens next. There's a word of God for someone in the midst now. God is going to show you what happens next. Another person, God is calling you, and that is to ascend and enter. Now, these two words are powerful action words. Ascend. You need to be deliberate to ascend. And enter means that the door is open. You enter. You need courage. I need faith to be able to end, enter when the door is open. The door is opening to you, and you will enter. In the name of Jesus. You will know what next to do. I expect somebody to say amen to that. I will know what next to do. The Lord will show me what next. It will show me what will happen next. The Lord has opened a door to me. I will enter into that door. Amen. And as we heard in the first service, when God opens the door, no one can shut it. Hallelujah. I hope you all believe and you know that God feeds all his creation. And there's nobody that is outside of God's control. God cares about you. He knows that you're going through difficulties and challenges and problems. And they're not meant to weigh you down and bring you down. So God has given opportunity for us this moment, today, to settle it. So I want to give you opportunity now to tell God, what is your expectation today? What are you expecting? Why, while you are here or you are online, take two minutes to talk to God. This and this and this and this is what I want to leave this place with. It is your expectation that there be manifestation. And the expectation of the just shall not be cut short. Amen. Father, we have spoken to your ears, and we know that you do hear us. And so, Lord, we're asking that as the word will be going forth today from your servant, that, Lord, there will be a word to address our situation, a word to answer our question, a word to restore our hope, a word to lift us up to the higher ground, a word to show us the way to go. A word to guide us in what is going to happen next. This we have asked in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Let someone shout hallelujah. Welcome everyone to church. Can you talk to your neighbor and say, neighbor, welcome to church. Welcome to Miracle Center. Welcome to Possibility Center. Keep saying it. I say to your neighbor now. If your neighbor is not saying to you, say to someone else. Hallelujah. All right. If you have a testimony, please go to the back of the altar. And there will be somewhere, someone there to attend to you. The choir will lead us. Thank you.
Hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. I'd like to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the first time. If this is your first day in Solid Rock on a Sunday like this, we have a special seat for you. Please stand, come to the front, and the church will welcome you. The first time on a Sunday. Thank you, brother, sister, sister. God bless you. Please come. Carry your bags and everything you came to church with. Come to the special seat for you. yourselves here today, and you will not live the same as you have come in the name of Jesus. Please relax, enjoy the service. At the end of the service, our counselors will attend to you. You can ask them questions, and they also show you part of our hospitality. Thank you very much for making a day with us and with the Lord. All right. If there is anybody in the house with um, your tithes, please come in. Come and pay your tithes. Please come to the altar to pay your tithes. And as you're coming in to the front, please talk to God. Thank him for the grace of life and the opportunity you have to have resources to pay. Thank him for the opportunity you have to come every month to pay your tithes. Some of you are paying more than once a month. God has blessed you. If you have paid online, you, ask, you also can come in for, to the front for prayers. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for these, your children who have come in obedience to your word to pay their tithes. And let your word also answer to them in Jesus' name. The word says that you open the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing, and there will be not enough room to occupy or to contain. And that you are going to rebuke the devourers for their sake. Lord, I pray for everyone who is standing here today or is giving online. That Lord, you would cause heavens to be opened unto them for abundance. As we have been brought to know, double, double shall be your blessing in Jesus' name. As you have come, this time will not be the last you are going to come. And this, this one will be the least you are going to give. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please drop your tithe and go back to your seat. God bless you. Now we have testifiers. And please can you quickly come out as I call your name. Brother Ulumide, Mommy Joko Dola, Sister Yanulua, Brother Femi, Brother Jude, and Sister Ajayi. While they are coming, I quickly read through the notes I have here. Mr. and Mrs. Adeleye is giving God all the glory for making them to celebrate their 10th year wedding anniversary. And this happened on the 16th of March. 
Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations. Um, and I then Amos, Amos testify, we give all glory and honor to God Almighty for he is a covenant-keeping God. Our relocation journey started in January 2020. And to the glory of God, we have received a long-awaited approval. We return our honor to God for his faithfulness and pray that as we journey to Canada, our testimonies will be abound in Jesus' name. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Congratulations. Apostle today is thanking God for a safe trip and divine healing. Thank you, Father, for not allowing me to embark on the journey of no return. It's on all glory to you. Hallelujah. And then Olufunke is thanking God for his protection over her and her children. God has been so good to us, she said, and what God cannot do does not exist. Amen. So you can start. Please, let's be quick about it. 60 minutes, 60 seconds, please. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Olumide David. I'm thanking God this morning for his protection and for his provision upon my life. On Saturday, God added another year to my age. May his name be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Praise the Lord, and good morning, church. I'm thanking God for healing. About two weeks ago, I'm feeling pains. My left hand, my left leg, I cannot move very well. I can't tell my daughter that I'm living with. The pain is too much. I told her last Sunday that I would not be able to come to church. But in the midnight, God said I should go. So I came to the church last Sunday. I sat down with one sister. She saw me what I'm doing. She saw me what I'm feeling the pain. She said she, said she would give me the number of the pastor. I said, okay. So in the morning, on Monday, I stood up. I cannot, hand my, my, I cannot carry my hand together with my neck. It's paining me. I can't tell my daughter that I'm leaving. I called my... My daughter, the senior one, she prayed for me. So early in the morning, I did my fasting sugar. He read 141. I said, this is not my portion. So I called pastor, but he said he's in the hospital. He will call me back. I waited, but I believed because I believed in him and my God. He didn't call me back, but I believed that the pastor, because I know the work of pastor, they are too busy. So I believed that whether he called me, he didn't call me, God has healed me. So I took the handkerchief that the that Gio gave us. I lay it in my neck, my hand, and my leg. I thank God. I know he's my healer. I praise the Lord of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will renew your strength, mommy. The Bible says that the Lord will carry you even your old age. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Femi. So I want to thank God for life. Um, today is my birthday. Ah, congratulations. Uh, I lost some other friends this year. And I thank God for that. Um, February 13th, my dad passed on. You know, he was a very gentle Muslim. I was a Muslim in my life till I changed when I was 18. So I've been talking to him, but in everything, you can tell my dad, if I have 100K and you tell him, please borrow me 120, he will give, withdraw that 100K, then call other people and borrow 20 to say to you. But when it comes to that issue of Christianity, it will just change. You know, and I was like, this is spiritual, you know? So he. I could not, I just left it to God. I was always putting in prayers. But before he died, he was really sick. And a missionary, that was a close friend, spoke to him and he gave his life to Christ. Hallelujah. You know, so I just want to thank God for that. So I also want to thank God because we are preparing for the burial in May. You know, I'm thanking God for provision. 
advance. You Amen. know, the Bible says we shall overcome by the words of our testimony. Amen. So we we'll bury him in a defeating manner. Amen. Hallelujah. Can this kind sister Ayo join the group of testifiers? Sister Ayo, please join the group of testifiers. Praise the Lord. My name is Blessing Ajay. I just want to thank God for what God has done for me on Monday. I live in at Ayobo. Ayobo, that is where I live. But in the inside of uh, the street, there is no drainage at all. So anytime it rains heavily, a lot, even our fences are not big. So I said, in order for me to not to uh, this my friend bring come down, so I decided to uh, construct drainage. They started on Saturday. They did not finish. I said on Monday. They should come. They did not finish on Monday. Around 5 o'clock, they, they, they left. Around 5.30, there is an a, a electric pole, concrete one oh, behind my, my fence. Then the electric, I just said, wah! Ah, what happened? Are you, they say, down this siren, hey, as if they brought light, cause continuous making noise. And this fire, my, a life wire, was parking everywhere. And the, my, the man, I called the, the NEPA, and the, the, the hub, I told them to hold to the light for that street. They hold it. And they came back, they said, they say, Madam, this thing is because of the beginning uh, of this. So they say that you should, uh, you should uh, buy another pole and wire because those houses that is affected, I say, no problem. Tomorrow you should replace it. The, the main testimony is that this thing fell around 5.30 when people are coming back from work, when everywhere is busy. When the Okada people are bringing people from, Maru, uh, from Barua to their, for, to this, uh, when children are walking from up and down, I just thank God that this, me, O Nio, Queen, your Lorno, O Lorno, Jackie, Rogue, where John, Hallelujah, fellow, Lorno, and like, thank you. Glory to God. Thank God for that. Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Jude Ephio. Actually, I, I'm here to thank God for the goodness of God in my life. About 26 years ago, my parents left this world. But I've been having ambition to probably go to school and becoming something. But when my parents left, they did not live with anything. But God has been providing for me. God has been so faithful, faithful beyond measures. Right now, I'm a master's student, and I don't know how it comes. When I was, when I was in under, undergraduate, scholarship came upon me, and... Four years, they sponsored me without any, any hesitation. And I'm here to give God all the glory because since I was born, I've never go to a hospital. I never remember. I never remember. So today is my birthday. That is why I'm here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Sian Olua. Firstly, I want to thank God for the success of my NYC program. I finished my NYC February 2nd, and God provided a job for me ending of last month. Hallelujah. Ah, congrats. Praise God. Um, a few weeks ago, I gave it to Her name is Ayo. My name is Ayo. A few weeks ago, I gave it testimony about how God kept my mom despite the accident she had. And then a few days after, I was at work and they called me that my father wasn't talking. And at that point, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. But one word kept me, God said, everything will end in joy. That was the exact sentence. And so there was something I've been trying to get for a few years now, and it hasn't been going through. God used the accident of my mom to make it possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Father, thank you for the testimonies of your people. We are so confident that these testimonies will be permanent in their lives in the name of Jesus. And all of us will be clapping for them. Lord, our time has come. Uh, we trust to because you have provided opportunity for us also to testify and we'll come and testify in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now we just bring out our offerings and then let's pray on them. If you have spent or you are sending online, you will see the prompting. Father, thank you for those who are giving offerings unto God. We pray that you accept the offering 
and bless us in return in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, all right? In Jesus' name we pray. The choir will minister to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, tell somebody if there's power in the name of Jesus. Yeah, tell another person there's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to know this morning that the name of Jesus can move mountains. The name of Jesus can bring back to life that which is dead. That the name of Jesus can heal every heart that is broken. Yeah. To break every chain. 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 There is power. The name that is given. There is power in the name of Jesus. That at the mention of it, every knee shall bow. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break, break every chain.
to break everything, to break everything, break everything, to break everything, to break everything, to break everything.
Let's I want to celebrate the Almighty God now with a sustained clap offering. With a sustained clap offering. Sustained clap offering. Clap, 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 clap. For the God of your creation. Clap for the only one. came back to play keyboard here. Yeah. Hey, Amen. He has already escaped to London. He has already jacked by. He has gone already. He just came to do something in Lagos. So he remembered that um, Solid Rock is still there. So he came to play keyboard. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Today is somebody's day. That somebody is you. Today is your day. There is always a day in the affairs of men when things change for the better. For someone under the sound of my voice, today is that day for you. Look at the way you are saying amen. Generally speaking, we can't pray the way we ought to. It will be double jeopardy if you can't say amen properly. Generally speaking, we can't pray... We can't pray. Am I right? If you say, let's do one hour prayer now, for 40 minutes on we sleep. Praise the Lord. Every word of prayer that will be uttered to you today will hit target. In the first service, a woman gave a testimony of how she was trying to make a meal, and from nowhere, she was nearly electrocuted. In the course of looking for what to eat, she nearly met what will meet her, what will eat her, but she escaped. You are going to escape every ambush of Satan. Yes, Say after me, Father. Yes. Say it well now, solid rock. Yes. Everything, yes. lying as ambush yes. in my tomorrow, yes. Father, yes. today. They are undone. Pray for yourself. Everything lying in wait as ambush, as a trap, as a snare, as a plot to knock you out suddenly and bring you down suddenly. All of such things are hereby undone. You will live to tell the story of today and of tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Very shortly, you are going to rejoice over everything rejoicing over you. Do you understand? In Nkojalo, in Orlando, I am a poor Today is fading away. Tomorrow is rejoicing, not knowing that it will soon become yesterday. Everything currently rejoicing over you will soon be silenced forever. Because of our time, let me quickly bring up the man of God. bless these two men of God. Who I always celebrate the men that go around with men of God. Make it louder for them, please, now. When you see men that go around with men of God, they are to be celebrated. Make it louder now. May men go around with you in the days to come. 
and in the years to come. And may the anointing upon this man pass to you in double portion. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will strengthen you, strengthen your various families, make you shining stars. In the name of Jesus. You will not be cut short. You will not go before your time. You will endure. And your stars will shine. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Our speaker today is um, a member of my inner circle amongst provincial pastors in Region 19. Inner circle. There is always inner circle. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. There is inner circle. There is inner caucus. There is a caucus before the caucus. There is always a meeting before the meeting. I pray for you. May you always be in the first meeting. The second meeting is always ceremonial. Annual general meeting of any company in this world, under the sun, there has been a meeting before that meeting. Praise the Lord. And like I said in the first service, the other two members of the inner caucus, they are, from, they are also from a do state like him. They are all from a do. I don't know why it's like that, but it's like that. Pastor Norway, Dr. Law, Pastor Ifri Mosunde, and Pastor Emos of Emovo, you know, those are my inner caucus in Region 19. Praise the Lord. Pastor Emos Emovo is the provincial pastor in Lagos Province 44, and it's um, Suru Lere. Make it louder now, make it louder now. I call him, I'm older than him, but I call him Elder Emovo. So in, you know, in return, he calls me Senior Elder. Let me celebrate Elder Mavon as he comes up. Celebrate Elder Mavon now. In Redeem, once we are above 50, we make you an elder. Whether you agree or not, we just baptize you, you become an elder. And once we call you elder, you're already elder. And we put the president over there, make it louder now. You are not yet elder, you can't clap. Oh, glory to God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm sure there is somebody who is excited this morning to be alive and well. And if you are so excited that God has kept you alive, that you are in the register of the living today, I want you to shout a resounding hallelujah. The Lord is good. Amen. Let's worship God together. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. this morning and just worship this God call him by his name exalt him, magnify him he's a mighty God he's the almighty he does mighty things he said I am the Lord God the God of all flesh is anything too hard for me worship him, exalt his name, magnify him hallow his name call him by his name he's a Lord who is there he's not far away not an ascending God. Call upon Him. Rakapa, ma, 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 
Thank you, Father. The Lord is in the house this morning. The Lord is in the house this morning. I hear the Lord saying concerning someone, I will answer my name in your life. I will answer my name in your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your name. Manda Rabala de Bushada. Thank you, Father. Now I feel like you're going to pray just one prayer as we go into the word of God. Thank you, Father. Now, before you pray that prayer, I got prompted now for us to sing this song. But you see, a couple of years ago, I had the privilege to be ministering somewhere outside Nigeria. It was a three-day program, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the first day, I asked them to sing this song. It's very simple. Don't allow me to go empty-handed. When I feel prompted like that, at times I just sing it. And I asked them to sing that song. Saturday, I asked them. Sunday, we ended. Monday, the pastor said to me, Sir, please, a member of the church called me and asked me if you were still in the country. I told her you were still in the country. And he pleaded with me that I should please bring you to the hospital where she was. I said, well, if you said, let's go. And we went to this big international hospital. And the woman was on the bed, and there was a couch, and there was a baby in the couch, and a man seated by the side. That was her husband. And the woman said, Pastor, please, could you hold my hand? Can I hold your hand? I gave her my hand. She held it. She began to cry. She said to me, Pastor, you said to us on Friday we should sing a song, Don't Let Me Go Empty Added. She said, Pastor, I was in the church. I sang that song weeping. She said, the reason I was weeping was that I knew any moment from that Friday I would be due to deliver. I will come here. And through after the Friday, you know, contraction came and I came here. Pastor, I have delivered. I said, glory be to God. He said, Pastor, I wept because this is not the first time I'm coming here to deliver. She said, I have been coming here to deliver. But each time I delivered, I never went home with my baby. She said, so when you said we should sing that song, don't let me go empty and that I was weeping. Because I know I will soon come. And I have come and the baby is here. Pastor, please pray that this time I won't go empty handed. A story almost brought tears to my eyes. And I held on to her and I began to call on God. Lord, if you have called me, prove yourself. And I began to pray. A story touched me. And I prayed for her by the grace of God and left. And about four years after the pastor of that church was in Nigeria for conversion, and I was asking him, how is that woman? How is that boy? Oh, he says, sir, the woman is doing well. The boy is running all around in church now. He runs around in church. I have a feeling there is somebody here you won't leave here empty handed. So you will sing it one or two times before you turn into a prayer. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go empty handed.
turn into a prayer call on board God now and say, Oh Lord, please don't let me go empty and die. Go ahead, call upon God. He's a God that hears prayers. He answers prayers. Lord, I call upon you, Lord God. You say, call upon me. I will answer. I will deliver. Oh, Lord. Don't let us go empty and then. Don't let us go the same way, Lord God. Lord, do you that which you alone can do, Lord God. Let your presence be Oh, thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. There is somebody this morning. The Lord wants me to tell you. He said, I will do much more than you are expecting. Oh, glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. Listen to the word of God. Within the next seven days, something new will be given back to in your life. By the time you are in church next Sunday, you will have something new to testify about. I don't know who you are. Claim it in faith. Receive it now. In the next seven days, you will have something to testify about. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. Now, I hear the Lord saying concerning a woman. Hear the word of God. The Lord says, I should tell you, woman, the door you have been knocking on that has not opened will open now. The door you have been knocking on that has not opened. The Lord says, I should tell you, that door will open now. Somebody give God praise in the house. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, almighty Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, the I have that I have. Thank you, the rose of shadow. Thank you, the bright and the morning star. You are God almighty. There is no one like you. There is none to be compared to celebrate you. We magnify your name. We hallow your holy name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Ring Thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen to me. In the spirit, I hear the word celebration. 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 I don't know who you are. Your moment and your season of celebration has come. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. Somebody give God praise in the house. Thank you, Father. Lord, I ask that this morning, oh God, speak to us again. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. Mm. There is somebody here this morning. The Lord says, I will give you a push that will make you jump the queue. I will give you a push that will make you jump the queue. 
Somebody give God praise in the house. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Oh, blessed, blessed be your name. Father, I thank you because you are a dependable God. You are a reliable God. You are the unchangeable God. You are the unchanging changer. You are the ever living God. The immortal God. The invincible God. The only wise God. You are God forever. From the beginning to the end. You are God. There is no like you. You are Exodus. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Sikino. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rohi. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shalom. We glorify your name. We exalt your holy name. We magnify your name. We lift up your name. We celebrate you. We adore your name. We reverence your name. We bow before your throne. You are our defender, our fortress, our advocate, our provider, our sustainer, our deliverer. Lord, glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. God is changing some of these garments. Barabalado Shandarabaladia. A new garment. A garment of honor. A new garment. A garment of glory. Oh, a new garment. You will take a new seat. A new position. Barabakoskinda Rabaladia. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. A new garment. A new garment. Barabaladia Bakashandarabaladia. Your position is changing for better. Mm, mm. I see a large and beautiful place. I see a large and beautiful place. And the Lord is saying concerning somebody that I have decided to decorate you. Mm. I have decided to decorate you. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. Lord, speak to me that I may speak again. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say, Lord, amen. Give the Lord a big clap offering of praise. Thank God. God bless you. May please be seated. <laughs> well, I just go the way God wants to go. So if we don't have much time for the word. But I'm sure God has blessed somebody already. So, okay. So, Amen. Uh, I want to thank God for the privilege to share fellowship with you here at Solid Rock. And I want to thank God for this second service. Thank God for what he did in the first service. And uh, I want to celebrate my friend and brother. And um, you know, there is a friend that sticks closer, you know, uh, than a brother. And by the grace of God, a man that I love, I celebrate, I revere, and uh, extremely close to us. Please join me, celebrate my friend and brother, Pastor Bola Odutola. And I'm telling you, you are blessed in Solid Rock to have him as your pastor. You better celebrate him so I don't carry him away. You are blessed. Pastor Bola is a good pastor. Amen. He's a good pastor. I'm sure you've been enjoying, you know, suffering those, 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 those great teachings of his. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a man that breaks down the word of God. I mean, on, on, on parallel insight from heaven. I mean, I mean, celebrate this man of God. Because it's the anointing that you celebrate that you attract. Glory. We celebrate you, Pastor Paula. And please celebrate also our mama, Mama Bumi. Pastor Mrs. Bumi Odutola. A mother indeed. We give God's glory. Amen. To all the pastors in the house and ministers, I celebrate you. Pastor Tunji, my dear friend, God bless you. We celebrate you and all the pastors. Amen. Please help me and join me celebrate this wonderful choir. This, I mean, this choir can just sentence you to heaven. I mean, with this kind of choir, Charot can take you to heaven. Celebrate them. Celebrate this choir. God bless you, choir. God bless you, Ray Good. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you better celebrate me. Uh -huh. Because it's a privilege for you to be seated by my side today. Tell him, ah. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, you are a very important person. There is no person like you. You are one of your kind. There is no fake about you. You are original. 
fearfully and wonderfully made. Packaged in heaven and showcased on earth. Hallelujah. So I celebrate you. Celebrate yourself, people of God. Now in this second service, I want to further encourage like I did in the first service. And so my word of encouragement this morning is, God will do it again. Amen. That's my topic. God will do it again. Amen. Please help me tell somebody, be encouraged, God will do it again. Amen. Tell another person, don't give up, God will do it again. Look at another person, say, it's not yet over for you, God will do it again. Amen. Amen. God will do it again. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. The Bible says, For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. This topic, God will do it again. It's a statement of comfort. So God is comforting somebody. Be comforted because I will do it again. I don't know what has tried to bring this comfort to you. God is sending you a word of comfort. I will do it again. This is a statement of assurance. I will do it again. It's an assurance that God has done it before. He's capable of doing it again. So be assured. Don't give up. This is a statement of certainty. It is certain. It is a done deal. It is certain. It is not God may do it again. It is God will do it again. It is certain. So I tell you what you are looking for. God will give it to you. It is certain. God will do it again. It's a statement of hope. Therefore, don't throw away your hope. Don't cast your hope. Like Abraham, the Bible says against all hope. Abraham had hope because he knew God will do it again. So I said to the hopeless, hey, let hope be rekindled because God will do it again. He, he will do it again. He's a reassurance of God's awesome ability to do what he has done before and to do any and everything. It is a reassurance of the awesome ability of God. God can do any and everything. He has done things before. He will do it again in your life. He's an expression of God's willingness to act and to perform. God will do it again. He's saying that God is willing to do it again. And he will do it in your life. It's a demonstration of God's reliability. God is reliable. He's not a man that he should lie. Not that a son of man that he should repent. What he has done before, he can do again. I said God will do it again. In law, there is what is called law of precedent. Law of precedent. Now, that is in common law. And in common law, precedent simply means, you know, that a court decision that is considered as an authority for deciding cases, subsequent cases, you know, that are similar or identical in facts. In facts and the legal issues. Once they are the same, if a court decides a case based on this legal issue and this legal fact, and then that kind of case comes to another court that has identical facts and issue. The new court is bound by law of precedent to decide that case eh, the way the former was decided. In other words, what was done before, this other new court is bound to do it the way it was done before. And that law of precedence, it also part and incorporated into in law what is called stair decisis. I'm sorry, I'm not teaching law now. But lawyers know. Stair decisis. What I'm trying to say is this. By stair decisis, it has been decided before. It must be decided that way. You can't cheat this person. This same case came. It was done like this. They gave him to this person, to this one too, they must give this person. I have come to announce to somebody by the principles of state decisions. What God has given to others, he will give to you. I said you will receive it. You will not be cheated. You will not be left hanging. I said he will give it unto you. He will do it again. 
Somebody lift your hand and say, Lord, do it again. In my life. Why? Because Hebrews 13 verse 8. Hebrews 13 verse 8 tells us, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. And Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. Amplified version tells us, that which has been is that which we be. That which has been is that which will be. And that which has been done is that which will be done again. That which God has done before, he will do again in your life. Therefore, beloved brethren, I don't know what you are trusting God for. I've come to encourage you. Whatever you are trusting God for, he has done it before. He will do it again. Because there is nothing new under the sun. Are you trusting God, for example, for fruitfulness? fruitfulness. He has sent me to announce to you. He has made others fruitful before. He will make you fruitful again. Fruitfulness. God has done it before. He will do it again. In 1 Samuel 1, 19 and 20. 1 Samuel 1, 19 and 20. Anna was in the same situation. She did not. She did it because she didn't know how it was going to happen. But God did it for Anna. And what did God do? When God opened the womb of Anna, she welcomed Samuel into her life. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Samuel represents in the life of Anna an end to barrenness. Today, your Samuel is coming. That will terminate your barrenness. You will not be mentally barren. You will not be financially barren. You will not be materially barren. You will not be maritally barren. In the name of Jesus, he has made men fruitful before. He will make you fruitful. Samuel represents fruitless effort, an end to fruitless effort. It represents an end to shame. God said for your shame, you will have double. I announce to you, no more shame. You will no more be financially ashamed. You will no more be maritally ashamed. I said no more shame. You know a woman wept some time ago. What happened? She was in the house. A sister-in-law, younger than her, came to the house. As she knocked on the door, sister went to open the door. And when she opened with great joy, she tried to welcome her sister-in-law. You are welcome, her. you are welcome. Her. And the sister-in-law snubbed her. I said, where is my brother? I said, I'm greeting you. Where is my brother? And she said, your brother is inside. Go and call me my brother. And this lady dejected, was walking away to go and call her husband. And then this sister-in-law threw a servo and said to her, by the way, come here. That your stomach is not meant only for you to eat my brother's food. It is for you to carry babies for my brother. That sister was ashamed. That sister was, she wept bitterly. I've come to announce to somebody here today. Every source of shame in your life. Everything that provokes you and brings sorrow to your life. God has sent me to announce to you. He has done it before. He will do it again. Somewhere terminated shame in Anna's life. Your somewhere will terminate your shame. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God will put your shame to shame. I said God will put your shame to shame. God will trouble your trouble. In the name of the Lord Jesus, he will disgrace your disgrace. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God will turn situation around. In your life, you will sing a new song. You will dance a new dance. You will have a new name. You will have a new testimony. Your story will change for better. Your God will turn your condition around. In the name of Jesus. He did it for Anna. He made her fruitful. An end to reproach, an end to sorrow, an end to mockery, an end to loneliness. Somewhere was the beginning of joy. Your joy is beginning now. Somewhere was the beginning of promotion. God is about promoting you. Somewhere is the beginning of a new name. He's giving you a new name. Somewhere was the beginning of a new status. God is changing your position. Somewhere was the beginning of a new chapter. God is opening a new chapter for you. Somewhere was the beginning of a new title. Your title is changing for better. Somewhere was the beginning of testimonies. You are about to testify. 
Samuel was the beginning of congratulations. For several years, nobody congratulated Anna. The day Samuel came, they congratulated her. I've come to announce to you, your season of congratulations has come. In your family, they will congratulate you. In your place of work, they will congratulate you. In your neighborhood, they will congratulate you. Even in this church, they will congratulate you. Look at your neighbor and say, you better be the first to congratulate me. Somebody will testify here. And I'm telling you, before this month is over, they will congratulate you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody receive it with a convincing amen. So Samuel came to Anna's life. Your Samuel is coming. Lift your hand and say, Oh Lord, give me my Samuel. As you have spoken, we will give you your own. What are you trusting God for? Breakthrough? Oh, God has done it before. He's done it before. He will do it again. Luke 5, 1 to 10, 1 to 7. Luke 5, 1 to 7. The Bible tells us of a man called Peter, a businessman. He was a fisherman. He went about his business. Business was bad. I have good news for you. His business bad for you. It was once bad for Peter. He did not remember. bad. Your own will not remember. bad. Hey, Peter failed in business. Have you failed in business? There is good news for you. God has turned around. Failure in business to success before. He will turn your own around. Peter toiled all night and caught nothing. But Jesus came and spoke the word and said, launch into the deep. The word is going for this morning. It will not return for us. The word of God Almighty did it for Peter. He launched into the deep. He enclosed multitude of fish. Peter began to employ more people. I've come to announce somebody. The anointing for enlargement is coming upon your business. The anointing of enlargement is coming upon your business. The anointing of enlargement is coming upon your business. Your business will not remain small. Your business is growing. Your business is enlarging. Your business will increase. Your business will expand. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. You will testify. I was ministering somewhere in Lekki. And God spoke about enlargement like this. I think it was a God of enlargement or something that was their thing. But about enlargement. And then I make the crease like this. It has gone for it. It will, it will happen in your life. Amen. And then a year after I was preaching in that church in Lekki, somebody came out to give testimony. I said, this is a special testimony. I told pastor I want to give it. And he said, last year when this man of God was here, and he was making this, the man said he had a security company, just one company somewhere in Lekki. He said, but after that word and pronouncement on enlargement, he said he had more branches in Lagos. He opened in Ghana, he opened in some West Africa country, another in Asia or so, and another in Europe. He said now, he spends two weeks in Nigeria, two weeks abroad. That he came back to give this testimony specifically, that pastor was aware and pastor corroborated. Listen to me, God enlarged that man's business. From one business, one branch in Lagos, to several in Lagos, in West Africa, in Asia, in Europe. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is somebody's testimony. Your own is the next one in line. God will enlarge your business. He will enlarge your cost. He will lengthen your cost. In the name of Jesus, you will break through to the right, to the left. You will not break down. I say you will break through. You will go through. You will break forth. You will break up. In the name of Jesus, you are going higher. You are going up. In the name of Jesus. What are you looking for? Provision? Oh, he has done it before. When you read John chapter 2, verse 1 to 10, John 2, 1 to 10, he had provided before. There was a wedding in Canada of Galilee. And the Bible says their provision ran out. Their wine ran out. They came to Jesus. Jesus said, fetch water. And they went to fetch water. He said, draw from the water. They drew. He said, give to the governor. They gave to the governor. When the governor tested it, he said, what a wonderful provision. He said, this is the best wine I ever had in my life. Listen to me. God miraculously 
justly provider. I don't know who you are. Today, you are like somebody that has nothing. I've come to announce to you, God Almighty is taking you from nothing to something. You are getting something. Right now, you are getting something. I say you are getting something. In your marriage, you are getting something. Concerning your business, you are getting something. You are getting something financially. Somebody say, I receive it. I said, somebody say, I receive it. Somebody say, I receive it. No. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That word nothing will never be your portion again. Amen. From nothing to something. Amen. From nowhere to somewhere. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus told that Peter in John 21, do you have meat? They said, no, nothing. But Jesus spoke the word. After the word, no became yes. I decree to your life. Every mouth that has said no to you, they are turning to yes. I said they are turning to yes. He will provide for you. No will become yes. In the name of Jesus. Have you heard no before? Go back there. You are beginning to hear yes. I said no is becoming yes. Those that deny you will accept you. Those that turn you down will turn you in. Those that turn you back will bring you forward. No more no in your life. I say no more no. I cancel no. I cancel no. I cancel no. Your life becomes yes. Yes in your life. Yes for that job. Yes for that job. Yes for that business. Yes for that contract. I say yes. Somebody scream yes. I was making decrees like this in the church. And the woman came to testify. Decrees like this of no more no. And the woman said she quoted for a job. And then they said that she didn't get the job. But one day she got a letter. When she opened the letter, it was from that company. And the letter was, you know, giving her the job she quoted for. You know, as a businesswoman, contractor. And she was surprised. They said, I didn't get it. But she looked at it. The address, what the letter was addressed, a company name, but the address was not a company's address. So she went and called an officer there. Excuse me, I got this letter for this job. I know I quoted for it, uh, but now this is my company's name, but the address is not my address. You know what the answer the man said? He said, Madam, in this company, we don't give jobs, contract to address. We give it to business name company. So if it's your company name, then it's for you. That was our sister that they said before that was not giving the contract. That was how she had a multi-million contract. I decree to somebody one more time. I don't know how God will turn your own no to yes. But I say, every no contrary to you, from today they become yes. My time is running out, but if we don't go stop, but just grab what you can grab. A brother some years ago in our church was going to, well, that time there was no Jackpa, but that's the language now, Jackpa. He was going to go abroad. You know, when there was this American green card, visa lottery, he won it. And came to me and said, sir, we won this thing, but uh, I hear not everybody that won, wins the visa that get the visa. I said, you get it. I pray for her. Him, they went to the embassy. They gave him his wife and three children. He came to me one day, I'm, we are traveling now. I said, knee down. His wife and three children. I lifted their passport and prayed. One prayer I prayed, I remember. And I said to him, brother, as you go to America, what took others 10 years to accomplish? You will accomplish in one year. Uh, he said, Amen, like you said, may God do your own also. Amen. He went to America about one and a half, uh, two years after. My wife and I were in the state. He was in America. And he came to see us. And he began to give testimony. He says, that prayer you pray worked. He came to America. He was working where they said fairly used cars. Fairly used cars. Oh, to Kumbo, yeah. And then he heard that people were buying houses. So he went to his bank that he had opened not too long. I said he wanted to buy a house. The manager pressed the computer, pressed the computer. He looked at us. Are you serious? You are new in America. You have no credit history. He didn't understand the system. That everything bought him. You have no credit history. What you are asking for, we don't do it. But after the manager said we don't do it, he leaned backwards. Second time. There will be a second touch to somebody. He said, what you are asking for, we don't do it. We have not done it. Young man, but I will do it for you. 
That was how they gave him this money. He bought this palatial house in Texas. If you have been to Texas, you know the kind of house that can be there. He bought it. Now, what touched me most in his testimony? He said some of his friends, they came around to America together. Heard this, so he has got the money. They went to the same bank. Where they bank? That same bank. And then the one said, sir, I want to take money. The man said, you have no credit history. What you are asking for, we don't do it. And that closed the matter. There was no second look. They never gave them. They never gave anybody, but they gave him. I decree to somebody here. Yeah. I said to you, where they deny others, they will accept you. Where they turn others back, they will turn you in. Where they refuse to give others, you will get it. In the name of Jesus. God has done it before. He will do it again. Let me begin to round off. But listen to me. Good health. That's very important. Health is wet. You are here, you are sick. I have goodness for you. Healing power is flowing through your body now. Because God has done it before, he will do it again. 2 Kings 5 verse 11. 2 Kings 5 11. Nehemiah was a great man, a general, but he was a leper. And then he came. The word of God went forth like now. And Elisha said, go and walk in Jordan. Seven times. He went there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He came out. The Bible said his skin returned like a brand new skin of a baby. He was completely healed. He was made Oh, so whatever may be your own sickness, God has done it before. I said, God has done it before. He will do it again. I said, he will do it again. Believe God right now, your healing is taking place now. The Bible says as the word of God was going forth, the word of the Lord through Jesus, the power of God was present to heal. This morning, whatever may be your sickness, I, I said, God has healed before. Why is what goes forth? His word is going forth now. Healing is taking place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every abdominal pain is disappearing now. In the name of Jesus. Stiffness, stiffness, stiffness is disappearing. You couldn't bend, begin to bend. God is healing right now. He has done it before, he's doing it again. By the power in his word. He sent forth his word. His word heals. That word is healing right now. He's healing your eyes. He's healing your eyes. He's healing your eyes. In the name of Jesus, he's giving you a brand new health. A clean health bill. In the name of Jesus. I will round up with this last one, promotion. That's number five. I will round up with that. Are you trusting God for promotion? God has done it before. I said God has done it before. First Samuel 16 verse 12. First Samuel 16 12. Ladies and gentlemen, they came for promotion. David was not there. They waited until he came. I've come to announce to somebody here today, your promotion is now. You will come back here and testify of promotion. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He has done it before, he will do it again. Before I pray with you, I was ministering like this in the church. And I gave a word of knowledge from God. Say, somebody here, the Lord said, by the time you get to work tomorrow, I will pleasantly surprise you. Somebody said, hey, like you are saying, may God surprise you too. The next day we were in church. We went to a seven days program. One of my ministers said to me, excuse me, sir, please, I have a testimony before we go down. I said, what is it? He said, sir, yesterday you said God said that when somebody gets to office, he will be surprised. He says, it has happened to me. What happened to you? He said, he got to his office. Then he was just a marketing manager where he was working. And then he said, the group MD called him to his office. And said to him, we are about to float another company with expatriates. The expatriates, we have the chairman. Our company will produce the MD. He said, the man looked at him and called his first name. And said, even though you do not qualify, I have put forward your name as the MD of the new company. <laughs> manager. They had deputy MD. They had executive director. They had general manager. They had people. It was just a manager marketing. But the MD said, even though you do not qualify, I have put forward. If somebody does not qualify, why put forward the name? Favor was speaking. Favor for promotion. I see that favor speaking for somebody. It will speak in that boardroom on your behalf. It will speak to your MD on your behalf. It will speak to the chairman of the company on your behalf. God will raise a destiny apart for you. Your destiny apart will arise. We speak on your behalf. We not rest until you are promoted. In the name of Jesus. That was how my minister became MDCEO at 30-something. 
with a white man as his chairman, his life changed. From a three-bedroom flat, life changed. The first day they landed a 150 kVA generator in his house. He could not take it alone, three-bedroom. He gave everybody, all his neighbors around lights. Come and collect night. The next day he called me and said, sir, it's happening again. He said, well, he said they took me to Honda Motors and said, make any choice of a brand new car. The man that had been driving to Kumpa in his life, to, to, to generator, the one you push before it will start. Now it was time for tear rubber. The one day he came again and said, sir, these things are happening fast. He said, I got to office today. They said to me, they saw big biro in my hand. And they said, MDs don't stand with big biro. They gave him two gold pens. Two gold pens. This is the kind that MD of our kind of company signed with. They gave to him. So when he came to me, after he said, I said, sir, I remember it's through your ministry. I became this thing. I'm enjoying it so much. He says, and they gave me two. I'm giving you one. I said, of course. I told him, of course, you are the MD. I am the pastor of the MD. <laughs> hell, hell, your story is about to change. I said, your story is about to change. He has done it before. He will do it again. Stand on your feet and say, oh, Lord, do it again in my life. Turn it to a prayer quickly. Do it again in my life. You have done it before. You can do it again. Do it again. Do it again. In my life. Rekapaya la ba 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 ba. Rekaturi ba kayele ba ba ba. Ranamana kadabra la dia. Do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. In my life, you have done it before. You have made men and women fruitful before. Do it again in my life. You have promoted men before. Do it again in my life, Lord God Almighty. You have done it before. You have gone before. You have healed before. Heal me, Lord God. Do it again in my life. Pray to God. He has done it before. There is nothing you are looking for. He has not done before. He's done it before. He can do it again. Oh Lord, do it again. Do it again in my life. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name, we pray. Second to the last prayer you want to pray. At times, God wants to do it again. But men hinder him from doing it. You are going to pray this prayer. Every entrance to the manifestation of your blessing in my life, you are going to, Lord, take it away. And I'm telling you, if you are the one, eh? are you understanding me? For some, they are proud. So pride goes before you fall. Instead of them going out, pride will bring them down. So Lord, take it away from my life. Take away pride though. Take away pride. Some, the Lord will call them and say, come to me. I need you. Surrender your life to me. They will not come because they are ashamed or something. They will not come. He said to Peter, follow me. Peter left everything and followed him. If Peter had not followed, he would not become the apostle. So I don't know what can be in your own life. Whether it's people around you who are saying, whatever may be, that will not make you do it again my life. Lord, take it away. Say, oh Lord, whatever in my life, that will not allow you to do it again. Take it away. Now. Pray, pray. If it is sin, take it away. If it is pride, take it away. If it is shyness, take it away. Oh Lord, if it is all God's enemy, Lord, take them away. Take it away. Take it away. Whatever. Whatever. We will not allow you to do it again, my life. Take it away now. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name, we pray. Close your eyes. Barabaka shadara baladia. Lena rokoskita pral inta praludo shitaba. Lakote pralida balada. The Lord said, "I shall decree a thing; it shall be established." Now I'm about to decree things that will be established in your life. Amen. And that will bring you back here for testimony. Amen. Your testimonies will abound. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is showing me something that the cloud is lifting. The cloud is lifting. 
and I'm beginning to see clarity. And the Lord says, there is somebody here. He said, the cloud that covered you not to be seen, I've taken it away for your manifestation. I'm taking it away for your manifestation. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory be to your name. Now close your eyes. I'm about to obey this decree. And listen to me and listen very well. You have just prayed the prayer that there will be no interest. When he called Peter, Peter answered. If Peter had not answered, he would not become a great man. This morning, there is a call of the Lord. He said, come to me. You that you are tired of where you are. He said, I will give you rest. When you come to him, he washes clean. When you come to him, he redirects your life. And so this morning, I don't want you to be a hindrance to yourself. And this morning you want to say, Lord, I hear you. I come to you. I come to table my life before you. It is you I want to pray for now. So that as I make this decree, you will benefit from it. So wherever you are hearing me, now, online or on site, and you say sincerely, Lord, I don't want to miss you. Many miss the move of God. Lord, here I am. I surrender it to you. I want to pray for you. Could you please lift up your hand? When I see your hand, and I'm going to pray. It's a targeted prayer for you. And your life will never be the same. You need to surrender it to Jesus. Lift up your hand wherever you are. Above your head. Lift up your hand above your head. I'm going to pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I see hands really far away. And I can't reach you. Please, can I ask you to come? You are lifting up your hand. Can you come? I want to pray for you. This is prayer for you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender it to you. My life. Oh, please come. Come. Come to this altar. You need to surrender it to the Lord. It is the life that you surrender to the Lord. When you give it to the Lord, then the Lord gives you what he has. He said, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man will open, I will come in. If you don't open by choice, I remain outside. And when he remains outside, what he can do remains outside. Why will you allow what he can do to remain outside of your life? Come now and give your life to him. I'm waiting for you. Come and come quickly. Come quickly. He's knocking at the door of your heart now by his word. Open it unto him and say, Lord, I surrender it to you. I give it to you. Come right now. Come right now. Come. Come to Jesus. He said, come to me. I will give you rest. Come, come, come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Come. If you are coming, please keep coming. The rest of us who are in front here, I'd like you to pray from your heart with me and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I have come to you to surrender to you. Now I believe that you died for my sin. Lord Jesus, please forgive my sins. Wash me clean. I confess you now with my mouth that you are my Lord and you are my Savior. Take over my life. Rule over my life from today. Thank you for accepting me in Jesus' name. Now I'm going to pray for you. Father, I want to thank you for all these ones. Lord, who have come to surrender their lives to you. You said as many as come, you will not cast away. Lord God Almighty, bring them in. Into your fold. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let them begin to draw from today from the well of salvation. And let it be well with them. Thank you for accepting them. In Jesus' name I pray. Now stay where you are. You can put your hand down. Now church, everyone, receive and grab it. Things are happening in the spirit as I make this decrease. Your testimonies will be shown. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A new day is breaking for somebody. A new day is breaking for somebody. Somebody is walking into a new position. Somebody is walking into a new position. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift my right hand to heaven from this exalted altar. Father, open the heavens now. For everyone under the sound of my voice, on site and online, I decree into your life now from now, receive your desire. 
Manarakayala bayala brakaye brokos. Rambra in Torobo Sandaraba. Linda Rabaladia. Lord, make the fruit less fruitful. This was the prayer I prayed for a lady that walked into my office. Married for 11 years and was weeping with her husband. I said to her, through these seven days, see me every day. So for seven days, I was praying for her and her husband every day. The seventh day, I said, it is done. It is completion. Ladies and gentlemen, by the next year, she conceived. And when she went for scan, doctors said they were twins in her womb. And ladies and gentlemen, on the day of delivery, they said, we will not give you a chance. We'll go for CS. As they operated her, they brought child number one out. They brought child number two out. They were about to close her up when one thing kicked the hand of the daughter. They said, it's like another one is there. Scan said two. At the end of the operation, they brought out three from her womb. Triplet. Those triplets celebrated two years anniversary birthday. This last month, February, or this early March. Brethren, 11 years. God can do it again. I decree to the fruitless, be fruitful. Financially, be fruitful. Maritally, be fruitful. Mentally, be fruitful. Receive your promotion. I decree promotion into your life. I decree good health. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, I decree new position, new title, new location. In the name of Jesus, I decree good things into your life, into your life, into your life. Receive it now, 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 receive it now. So shall it be, so will it be, so must it be. Jesus' name, I decree. Say that amen three powerful times. Amen. Amen. And amen. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Those of you at the front, please, can you follow my brother? Just follow my sister. Follow him. Follow her. God bless you. Follow. Church, give the Lord a big clap offering. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Who will be the first to testify? If you are the first to testify, let your hallelujah swallow your neighbor's own room. Hallelujah. If there's someone here whose prayers has been answered, can you shout hallelujah? Can you just say something, rise up and just bless the name of the Lord for our pastor? With all his might, with all the grace upon him, he has ministered unto us. Just pray, just ask the Lord, bless my pastor. Bless that which he has, bless all that he has, bless the works of his hands, bless his ministry, enlarge his coast. Let his words not fall to the ground, prosper everything he touches. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that he that waters shall be watered himself. Water him with abundance. Every word he has spoken to us, let it answer to him as well and his family. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you very much, Pastor. We appreciate you. The Almighty God will enlarge your course in Jesus' name. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, we are grateful that the Lord has met with us. Those of us who started at the meeting, we presented to God our request, and I'm sure God has done much more than we asked. And so shall it be permanent in Jesus' name. As we take this on announcement, please remember, today is our usual missions offering time. Um, we take this offering once a month to support missionary activities. We plant churches in different places that you will be amazed that people can go there. People go there, people serve there, people do all that they can. But you may not be able to go. But before God, you are also very important if you can send your prayers and your resources. So today, as we are taking this announcement, the ushers will go around, please give bountiful offering. 
for missions. The Lord bless us to do that in Jesus' name. Now, this announcement is from the believers class. For growth, thirsty believers, you are to remember that after the second service, there will be a class under the gallery. This is also for those who have been in the class and they are now in lesson 14 upward. In preparation for your baptism, there's a revision class commencing on the 25th of March. That is Saturday. Time is 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. The venue is Children's Church. Please remember to be there on Saturday, 25th. It's important that you go through this revision so they can prepare for your baptism. Digging Deep series have started. Another one being There's a missing child with the ushers. The child is looking for the mom. So please, if your child is, you can't find your child, please go to the ushers now and then identify your child. Digging Deep series is starting, that started last week. It's continuing this week on Tuesday. Uh, we were studying the books of Peter and we are taking the, the theme, Overcoming. Please ensure that you participate and you will not regret doing that in Jesus' name. Just to remind all sisters that when women pray for the month of March, it's coming up on this Saturday, 25th of March. And as usual, time is 7 a.m. This is the time when all women gather together and they pray. And God has given us great blessings through this prayer. The Treasure Sisters Conference for this year is coming up on the 12th and, and 13th of May, 2023. The theme is the day of his power. The day of his power. You can see on the screen, ministering will be our mother and woman of God in the house, Mommy, Mrs. Bola Udutola. I want us to please... Note that this meeting is not only going to be anchored by her, there are other women of God, seasoned people of repute, Ibukun Awoshika, the great woman that we all know in the public sector and in the church of God. She has been amazing. There's also Debola Dejikurumi and other, other ministers, as we see on the uh, scrolling on the screen for you. The, the meeting on 12th is a breakfast meeting and it's going to cost 10,000 naira to register for that. The maximum number of people that can be accommodated in this place is 500. And so please make sure that you register on time so that you will be part of the meeting. But the Saturday meeting, following Saturday, is going to be for a whole day. And registration is 5,000 Naira for Ankara, for bag, and for conference material. However, if you do not have that 5,000 Naira, you are still invited to come on Saturday and be a part of what God is going to do. People who ministered minister on on. Friday will also minister on Saturday, so there's a lot to gain coming. The Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. We'd like to invite those who have been partnering with this uh, church on this conference, or you want to be a partner in preparation for the conference. Please see Sister Deyinka upstairs. That's uh, Sister Tokwe Deyinka, and you can get all the details of how you can assist us. Hallelujah. Job Boro of this church is announcing another opportunity for training. Job Boro. I know a lot of people have benefited from this. So we are hosting the second quarter training on Saturday, the 15th of April. 
I thought you were going to clap for that. It's a, it's a great privilege. These are the things that you pay hundreds of thousands of naira to um, attend if you're outside the church. It's coming to us free. And uh, the first one is going to be a career talk for people, for different people, from the class of entry level, even to senior manager. And to anchor that to be Mr. Yemi Fashion, the chief, chief talent officer and the Yemi Fashion Patent Partners. So it's important that we take advantage of this and uh, is the details will be announced about the timing. But remember that 15th of April, 2023. There's going to be an entrepreneur class which will help you to structure your micro business for growth and also for income. And that will be anchored by Mrs. Wumi Izuyagi. He's an Greek and online entrepreneur. So please be there also. Now the business class has two extra work WhatsApp classes. So join or send your name to this email address. Solid Rock Job Bureau 2 at gmail.com. Solid Rock Job Bureau at gmail.com. I think it's on the on the screen. Please Careful to look at that. If you have any problems, just contact the, the uh, ushers and they will tell you what to do. The Lord has done it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mr. and Mrs. Abayo Miojo. <laughs> Abayo Miojo is the person that looks like me that's always on the keyboard. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The Lord gave them a baby boy. On the, on the 14th of March, and the date of naming is the 21st of March. Their address is number 17, Kule Olale Street, Victory Estate of Powerline, which is Dubega, Lagos. So the narrow bus stop is Powerline. Let's also be praying for them, and as many as are close to or in the area, please make sure that you attend to celebrate with them. The time of the naming ceremony on that Tuesday, 21st of March, is 8 a.m. The Lord bless you as you attend. And let the ministers in charge please take note. Hallelujah. Now, we want to welcome those who are coming for the first time again. There are some of them have come out seated in front. But if you are here in the congregation and you are still seated outside of the front, please come out together with those who are seated and follow our ministers. But adventure, there will be some of these people who are coming out that may be involved with this announcement. Please note that the gift we have of food for people today will be shared after this meeting you'll be given a tally and once you have a tally you move in front of the church of children's church and stay there that's where you're going to have your gifts so anybody seated here and you need food packs that the church wants to offer as a gift to you please wait behind tags will be given to you and once you receive your tag you move to the front of the church, the children's church there, and collect your food pack. Can we rise as we close the meeting? To God be the glory, great things he has done, so love the world.
You go in peace. You return in peace. You not embark on a journey of no return. That which you have been longing for and have been prophesying into your life shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. This is the best week for you. Go and prosper. Go and succeed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The grace together in fellowship. Shalom.